Next question is from Secular Sakai, who is asking, in 1967, Albania declared itself the world's officially atheist, first officially atheist nation. However, it brutally cracked down on religious people at this time with violent and horrific authoritarianism. Today, it is a secular democracy with a Muslim majority population that is considered mostly non-practicing and non-denominational. Why are religious sentiments so chilled there now, and how can more fundamentalist Islamic nations learn from Albania without emulating the religious persecution? I've, okay, Albania, okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Albania became Islamic uh, under the Ottoman Empire, right? I just think like they have um, a, a much le less history with Islam than many Islamic countries. So maybe like partly the reason why they're chill with their Islam there is because it's just not as deep rooted. And, you know, I think like once you put your country into the Islamic soup and just keep like sit, make, let it, you know, cook in Islam for a while, it's just going to get get deeper in, right? Like it's just going to like, it's going to fuse itself Really inside. let it marinate. Yeah, like it mar once you marinate your country into Islam for like more than a thousand years, I think like Islam will be a lot more deep rooted, like it's closer to the core of your identity than when you're just there since like the Ottoman Empire. Like, okay, like, how, are you really how much experience do you have with Islam? I just think like there are a lot more alternatives, you know. I mean, like, for example, the Islamic Republic of Iran, like, I'm not sorry, Iran has been. Uh, Islamic for like 1400 years, right? So as much as a lot, Iran, a lot of Iranian nationalists want to deny that, it's part of like, it's in your DNA of your country right now, okay? It's part of the identities associated with the country. But I just think like, if it, if you have experimented with that a lot less, the, the amount of, even though a lot, the vast majority of people, not the vast majority, the majority of people are Muslim, there are so many other alternative ways of people mm, defining um, who they are in Albania that could compete with their Muslim identity. So they might not their take might not take their Muslim identity as seriously uh, relative to other countries, right? Um, I think in Albania, it's mostly identities are based on ethnicity. Um, like I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I might be completely wrong. About I have that. no idea. I, mean, I only know where Albania is on a map. So okay, so Albania in that look like had an easier time converting to Islam under the Ottoman Empire compared to other countries around that region because they were es ethnically different from people around them. So I think like maybe the the otherizing. Um, of them by everybody around them made it easier for them to just accept this alternative religion under the Ottoman Empire compared to the countries around them. That's why they were given, gave in to Islam. I mean, the Ottoman Empire kind of forced, like, actually, I don't know how much force was involved there. But, okay, so I, I'm going to, I know this is going to sound um, wrong to say, but again, I'm always going to say that Albania doesn't look Islamic, okay? Like, I don't know. Every time I look at pictures of Albania, I'm like, is this, is this an Islamic country? Like, it doesn't look like, it doesn't look Islamic at all. But anyway. Well, because to you, Islamic countries should be in sepia tone. Yeah, They should be bombed out and in the <laughs> dirt and sand. No, UAE looks, uh, I mean, UAE does sand. Um, <laughs> Malaysia looks very Islamic. Malaysia looks Islamic, even though it, there's no, no sand. And it doesn't look like a war-torn country, okay? Um, no, I'm just teasing you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Stony is Albanian, so maybe we should just ask Stony. Yeah. Anyways, but we don't. This is my just my understanding. I just think like maybe the reason why Islam is not taken very seriously there is because of the fact that it's not a major part of their identity because it hasn't. They haven't been with it for that long, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think like the anti-religion um being forced upon people there had a much like usually like this should not be used as an example like oh maybe like forcing atheism down upon people's throat maybe that's the reason why 
we have so much progress in Albania, and maybe that's why they're not taking the religions very seriously. That's the wrong conclusion because usually that it doesn't work like that. Like we have way more examples of sh showing you how in history when you try to force secularize a population, mm -hmm. they come back more religious. Okay, I don't think this is like Albania has a history of switching religions. Okay, like even when they were Christians, so, so they were they were Christians. Okay, Albania was a Christian country. Okay, but even when they're Christians, they were hopping between different sects of Christianity, like left and right, depending on who was in charge, okay? So they were like, just like, oh, who's in charge? Like, are we Catholics? Or like, oh, now we're Eastern Orthodox. Oh, the Ottomans are here. Okay, now we're Muslim, okay? So maybe they never committed to any of these for long enough to take any of them seriously. Maybe that's the reason why they're so chill about being Muslims right now. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let's see what Stony Stony is like. Stony is saying is like Italians also helped secularize it to a de good degree. Mm -hmm. When King Zog, what a name, King Zog. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. That okay. sounds like the name of the bad guy in Toy Story. Okay. Is there everyone? Everyone remember that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when King Zog and Italian monitors suggested giving women more rights, imams in larger cities rioted. Both Zog and the monitors had the imams shot. Oh, geez. Um, oh, no. Wow. When the Turks no. colonized Albania, Ortho Orthodoxists fled to Greece and became Arvanites. Catholics fled to Italy and became, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Ar 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 Baresh. Um, okay, so I didn't say Albanians are chill in every manner. I just said about Islam. By the way, just to, be, just to warn you guys, there are many people who are trying to change that about how serious Islam is taken in Albania. Like there's, I don't know, people, I think like their investments in building, like there's a huge, there's a huge issue with lack of mosques in Albania, given the number of, like the, I think the number of mosques per Muslims is like low, very low in Albania. I think maybe because Muslims don't take their religion very seriously in Albania, but there are people who are trying to go to Albania right now and build more mosques and also teach Islam and remind the Muslims in Albania that they're Muslims. <laughs> okay. So we have to, maybe like, we shouldn't be like, we should like be careful. Like we, we could, um, there's going to be a, a point, like, I mean, having a countries in Europe that are Muslim, but also now ser more seriously Muslim would be a major win for the Islamic world. Okay. In Okay. So, they might like we have to keep an eye on Albania, make sure that like we cover that if that if people are pushing for that. Um yeah. wait, there was one thing I found interesting. A believer is asking, where is Albani from? Albani is from Albania. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense from the name. So I just find it really interesting that one of the most authoritative Hadith scholars, contemporary Hadith scholars, relatively contemporary, I think he's he's dead, is like Albanian. He's European. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Anyways. Um, oh, next, and he, here's another thing you want to read. Oh, my goodness. MEK is headquartered in Albania? Yeah, they have camps there, I think, then... And they torture her like they have like um they miss a lot of them are resettlement members. camps after they've been taken out of Iraq. Yeah, exactly. They won't they moved from Iraq. They were in France. Well, I mean they were in Iraq, then they were in France, and now they're headquartered in Albania. So Whoa. That's what this is why I never visit Albania because MEK I've been very anti MEK and MEK doesn't doesn't this is, they don't mess around. They will mess around. They will like execute. They will take you out if they. Yeah, they're ter they're terrorists. Yeah, but we they're are... M E K camps. Okay, yeah, that's one. Down with M E K. Oh. Yes. Yeah, Thank true. you, Gossam. Thank hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today.
And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.